guys welcome back to my channel i'm actually gonna be you know grinding out this youtube shit for real for real so here we go um this is gonna be my art tarot haul so if you guys are interested in art tarot pieces or just some simple pieces i have um stay tuned and yeah uh, most of these pieces i've gotten on sale because you know i want to be economically sound <laughs> but pretty much um these are some of my favorite pieces some things don't go on sale so um i'll pretty much tell you like around what price i got them for and how much of a discount i got with them but um yeah here are some of my pieces i think i'm gonna go from accessories and then i'll slowly go into like jackets and vests and all that stuff so yeah stay tuned the first item i want to showcase is this beanie i literally just got it i honestly think it's really cute i was starting to feel like i was starting to feel the cold weather like literally a few weeks ago because now it's like warm again but this is i think this is like the row i'm gonna write the name of like each thing here but this is one of their beanies from this season it has like obviously their logo and then like their name is right there but i think it's pretty cute i quite honestly think it's a nice beanie it's not too thick like i could wear this in like 50 to 40 40 de degree weather and not feel like i have a hot head do you know what i mean right like i don't like it when a beanie is like way way too warm because then i feel like woozy but this is like perfect for like fall weather and like if it gets a little bit colder it's still a good thing to wear especially if i like just want to wear a light like raincoat or something it's like perfect for me to wear just like something to keep my head warm and not my entire body warm but yeah that's one of the items i have i do have um their mantis i believe this is the mantis 2.0 and this is the the larger size i have it in white and i also have it in black um, I got the black one first, a few, sorry, a few, I had it for a while actually, maybe like a few months ago, and the white one I got after, but I think this size is perfect, especially if you're a girl like me, uh, not saying that we carry a lot of stuff, but like if you tend to carry more things in your bag, this is such a good size, and you could wear it like this, you can wear it on your waist, there's a lot of um, cool compartments actually in this bag. So it has like the main zip. You also have another inner pocket inside here with the zip. And then you have like two um, two pockets here and a divider. Inside here we have another front zip. And then, sorry, I don't even know what this is. My Marriott, <laughs> whatever, um, luggage tag. We have a little thing if you want to make sure. I don't know what this is for. Probably like anything that you want to make sure doesn't get lost if you open this. And then you have a like more room here. I honestly fit my cerium jacket, which we'll get to in a bit, in this bag when I went to a rave last year. So it definitely fits a lot more than it looks. And I feel like it looks bigger in person than it does online. So just be aware. The smaller one, they also have a smaller one. I think that one is one liter. This might be two liters. I'm not sure. I will have to confirm in like text. But um, these are perfect size and I quite honestly really enjoy these bags. I feel like for, I think they were like 30 bucks. For 30 bucks, for 30 bucks, they're worth it. Because like Lululemon has similar like waist bags. They don't hold nearly as much. They don't have like all this cushioning. Oh, there, there's also like a phone pocket here. Um, I feel like these bags are really, really well designed and they've been holding up pretty great. The only thing is like white obviously gets stained a lot easier, but it's super easy to wash them. Um, I had makeup on this literally a few minutes ago. I just wiped down and like now it's gone. So yeah, super awesome bags and a great thing for your buck because each of them are like 30 bucks and they hold so much and you could dress them up. You could dress them down depending on like what your, I guess like style aesthetic is. Okay. I also got recently, it's so, like the newest things I got was the beanie and like these gloves. These are the row gloves, I believe. So the beanie is probably called something else. I've just been calling it row the entire time. But um, this is their glove. They're actually very thin. They're not really warm gloves. They're more for like, I would say like this weather right now when it's like 50, 60 degrees. It's like a good glove to have. Um, I'm anemic, so I always get cold. So I love to have like winter accessories especially because i think it also adds a lot to your look it makes you look a lot nicer 
than like you know if you didn't have accessories but yeah it's like very very minimalist black um bag i don't know what these things are for because they don't work for like scrolling on your phone so please be aware that i don't know why these things don't work for like the price it should work to scroll on your phone but i still like them for what it is they're just gloves i also enjoy like not being on my phone as much as possible so if that's available to me i'm like fuck it it's just telling me to be off my phone which is like fine but um yeah these are some other gloves i think this is also new this is before they redesigned it so these are the rogue gloves i believe I'm going to try and put the names on of each item on the screen so people have an understanding. Um, yeah, let's go to my other jacket. This is, I don't know, I think this is the Adam LT jacket. I honestly have no idea. I also got this on sale. I think it was like on, under $150. Um, it's just a light jacket. Um, there's... A hood that you could get it zipped into the collar if you really don't want it i honestly got it because it was on sale and i needed a jacket for her rafting just like a light jacket to like protect myself from the sun because i hate the sun it's gonna look horrible with this but let's try it on let's see this is pretty much how it looks um it is a lot small this is a men's small i got it literally in broadway but yeah um it's a super thin summer jacket i mean i like it for what it is i think it's a good trekking jacket for a summer day or like springtime it just protects you from the sun there's also a few compartments like i literally could put my entire water bottle in this inner pocket um the pockets also zip and yeah i also think like this green is like pretty cool it's a very summer spring green but i also really like green when my hair is light another fun fact so um if you like green with light hair then this is like a nice color to have i also like how this is um the silver and not an ugly gold i hate gold so the fact that it was green and not gold i was like okay i gotta get it but i think for the price it's a solid it's a solid jacket um again super light it's not gore-tex and that's fine. <laughs> I don't really need enough. I'm more Gore-Tex jackets. Okay. This is my second Arcteryx piece, I believe. I think this is it. I actually got it at REI um, last January or this January. I think it was last January. Um, this is Gore-Tex. I think this is in their Midnight, midnight something color. It's some, something called, it's something Midnight, but it's like, it's a very, very dark blue. Like, you honestly can't tell it's, like, dark blue unless you're, like, close to a light source or, like, in the sun, then you can tell. But this is their, I believe this is their Zeta, their Zeta jacket from, like, 2019. I got it REI. I think it used to, like, MSRP for, like, over $400. This isn't a woman's extra large. So, it is quite large on me but it is Gore-Tex. You can 100% layer with this jacket. There's Velcro here that helps to reduce any rain coming into the jacket to cinch it. It actually cinches a lot for a woman's extra large on me. But yeah, I still think it's a solid piece, especially if you got it on sale. Like The fact that this is $150 and the MSRPs were way more, I got it. such a good price on it. Of course, it's Gore-Tex, so there's Gore-Tex here. Where is the Gore-Tex on this jacket? Here we go. And yeah, solid rain jacket. You do have, like, this hood with the little, you know, the little shield, so you won't get rained on. And it's definitely waterproof. I've been drenched in this jacket, and I came out dry, so... I think it's a solid piece. Obviously, it's um, it's Gore-Tex, so it's you're gonna hear like the you're gonna hear the fabric move and all that stuff. But it's solid. Um, Arcteryx actually washes the jackets for you. Like they'll treat the Gore-Tex for you, which is super nice. And yeah, they actually recommend you to wash it every time you wear it. Um, I haven't gone anywhere of this jacket yet. I've been wearing my other jackets recently, but a solid piece. I love the color. 
Um, it's not like a basic black. I already have enough of those basic black jackets, so it's good to have like something that's a little bit still neutral, but not black. And yeah, this is my first Gore-Tex piece from them. And then, yeah, let's get into the winter jackets. So I'm going to start with the vest because I guess this is technically another new piece. I just got it this season as well. This is from the Arcturx outlet in Woodbury. Um, let me see if the name is actually on here. I don't really know the name, but I think it is the Cerium jacket. Like, I'm not too sure. Let me see. Blah, blah, blah. I don't think it tells you, but I believe this is the Cerium vest. But yeah, um, this is filled. One thing I like about Arcturix is that their jackets are actually, well, the Cerium line is actually filled with goose down and not duck down because goose down is actually way warmer because of its larger clusters than it than compared to like duck down, which Canada Goose does use duck down and not goose down, which I feel like is a little like false advertising. Could you call it Canada Goose? You would assume you use goose down, but that's a different story. Um, it's 90% down and 10% feathers, which is fine. It keeps me decently warm. Um, I just really like the look of this. Other than the fact that I look like a finance girl, I think it layers really, really well. And the fact that it's also goose down, it keeps me warm. Like I could wear like a sweatshirt and put a jacket on in like 50, de 50 degree weather and I'm like, good. Um, but yeah, I'll put it on. This is a men's jacket. This is like the other, so like the green jacket that I just showed you and this vest is um, part of the men's line. I honestly don't really care for wearing men's, but this is how it looks. I feel like it's another solid piece. I'm gonna stand up and hopefully not show my feet. <laughs> ah, cover my feet, but it's another solid jacket. I have so many masks in here. Um, it is longer because it is men's and I don't mind. Like, I'm not really a crop sweater wearing person anymore, so I like that it's fully aligned. They also have a little inner pocket here. It's also packable, like the Serium jacket. This is the Serium vest again. Zippable pockets. I think the pockets come really, like, they're, they come in handy. I hate jackets or, like, coats that don't have pockets because I'm very much a pocket utilizer. But yeah, super nice. And then I'm gonna just put this on. I don't know if I could put my other Cerium on <laughs> on top of this, but this is the Cerium jacket. This is actually a woman's small, so it's gonna be significantly smaller than the vest. But I haven't worn these together at all yet. But in the winter, I could literally wear a crew neck, this jacket, and I'm warm. So these jackets themselves are super thin, but they're still warm. Okay, so it's a little tight. I wear the best. But this is my first Archeric Peaks piece. This is the Cerium jacket from 2020. So I think like 2021, I, I believe. And yeah, they're literally the same. <laughs> the same jacket, but this one is obviously a little bit smaller because it's a woman Cerium. This is again, goose down. It's actually not too bad when I wear the vest inside. It's a little bit tight, but I don't think I need anything else if I wear the vest on top of this jacket. It's very, very much warm. Let me put the hood on to show you guys. Sorry, my hair is so crazy. But yeah, the hood is like one of these rounder domes. I still think it's pretty cute. But yeah, super, super, t um, they're not, it's not tight fit usually. I am wearing the vest inside, but it is form fitting and gives you enough snuggle room. Um, they're super comfortable. I literally wear, love to wear these jackets because they actually retain your heat from your body really, really well. Um, again, it's packable. There's a little pocket here with the, with the pouch. This one is actually not. I think you can attach it. Yeah, you can attach it. There's a little thing here that you can attach it to, but I just don't have it attached. But again... You could take the vest, you could take the outerwear jackets in for them to wash it, which is like super nice and treat the fabric. And yeah, again, this is down. This is also, let me just double check before I say it. Um, one, this is 100% white goose down. 
yeah, and then ten percent down feathers, which is nice. But yeah, super easy, super packable, and just solid jackets. Um, I usually, if I'm doing something in the winter, I'll wear that's like that I might get wet or something like that. So I will always wear a Gore-Tex shell jacket on top if need be. But if it's just another winter day and nothing like winds are not too crazy, I could just wear this jacket and I'm good. It's also just so light to carry around. Like if you have, if you have any other jackets, um, especially big winter jackets, they tend to be so heavy for no reason. And who actually wants to carry around such a big jacket, right? Um, but yeah, that is my Arteris collection. I don't think I have anything else. If I do remember to have something else, I'll make another video. I do want to um, talk about like my top Gorp Corp pieces. Oh my god, Gorp Corp. But like my top um, gear, top five gear pieces. Um, but I feel like I'll make that video in a few months. I want to wear some things a little bit more. But yeah, that is my Arteryx, I guess like collection. My Arteryx collection. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just a few of my favorite pieces. Well, not my favorite. These are like all my pieces. I don't think I'm adding anything else to my collection anytime soon. Please don't let me. But yeah, that's like my current collection. Let me know what my, let me know what your favorite piece is and what you're looking to buy. I think I want to get like a beta. It's just kind of insane to pay that much for a jacket right now for me. Like six, seven hundred dollars is a lot of money, guys. We're in a recession, so, um... Yeah, that's a little bit my collection. And yeah, I think that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.